Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Cedric. I'm an actor, a filmmaker, a screenwriter, and a YouTube reactor. And I know nothing about this artist. In fact, I'm not sure I remember their name. Yeba? Yeba. I know nothing about Yeba. And I'm very excited to learn about Yeba. This was recommended to me by one of my patrons on Patreon, Evie. Thank you so much for your support. Thank you for recommending this. And of course, thank you to all of my patrons for supporting me. It means so much to me. You support me in being able to make YouTube videos and being able to do auditions and being able to do things like what I'm doing right now when you're watching this, which is not being in Rhode Island where I'm filming it, but by the time you watch this, I am in Washington State on the other side of the country working on Sunset Boulevard, the musical, which I'm playing Joe Gillis in. You guys make it so, I, that was a hanging participle, I'm sorry, in which I play Joe Gillis. You guys make it so, so much easier to be able to do what I love and chase what I love. And, and I'm just, I'm very blessed by that and by all of you. So thank you so much. I don't have much else to say. I have no idea what I'm about to watch, but I'm excited to watch it anyway. Let's go ahead and jump in. This is Yeba, My Mind. New York? That's not far from me. Always be nice. True. Oh, this must be a live performance. Too far gone to keep. I, 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 I'm about to lose my. Okay, uh, a couple of things about the way that she's approaching this. I I don't know if it's her and the guy that are both Yeba. I'm not sure. But I'm going to talk about her performance of it because she's the vocalist and it's kind of where we're focusing the camera anyway. A couple of things about what's happening here. It's obviously an intimate venue. It's unplugged. It's, uh, it's, it's stripped down. It's acoustic. So let's mimic that with the camera work. Let's get close up, almost making it feel like a documentary, like you're watching something happen in real time and trying to preserve it, which is what it is. So they're shooting it like a documentary. A lot of close up, more profile style shots as if you're not gonna get right in the way of her. Wider shot where you can see both of them, but giving us the chance to see what she's wearing, what the space is like, where the lights are. It's lit in front of her and not back here to the side of her, but behind her we can see the whole thing. She's got this kind of green shawl that's kind of wrapped around her and it's it's got this very normal person feel singing a song that a normal person might relate to however it is not a normal person singing this song her voice is so good that whole my i know that wasn't quite it but it has a, a i don't know if this is the best word for it but a smokiness to it there's a really rich flavor to her voice it's smoky it's lived it's a lived voice it reminds me a lot of adele that sort of um i've been through some stuff kind of voice that she has but it's also deeply relatable it feels like someone that you know i feel like i know her already from the song part of that has to do with her physical performance 
So if you know it's not going to be a music video, there's not a lot of story that's being told, it's up to you to tell the story. And in an intimate venue like this with a small audience, it's almost like a black box theater or like working in film. It's all going to be very subtle. And so for her, watch her eyes, especially on your own time. Go back and rewatch this. And from the very beginning, watch her eyes, watch what she's doing. She's not there. She's not in this room. She is living these memories in her head and she is seeing these memories as they play out. Watch her for the rest of this. I don't know if she's going to get much bigger with it, but for the most part, it feels like physically she's just talking to you and trying to get everything out so that she doesn't break down. That's what it feels like. There's an intense need that drives her performance of this so far, and it is incredible. It's getting into her voice. It's There's this desperation to it. It's in her physical performance, but there's a fight for control, and it's extraordinary. It's very, very good. Lose my Part of it's in closing off like that. I think about you all the time. Time. It's that. See, she's looking at something and we don't know what it is, you only she can't does. even look me dead in the eyes. Her love is strong, she got you hypnotized. Her mouth position tie love me great. but I know it's a lie when I work so hard to keep you satisfied oh, oh go off Okay, uh, this is one of the most raw, emotional, honest things I've ever seen. Ever. She's making a lot of choices to like reinforce that, but it's almost like, how is this emotionally sustainable for her to live this song that much? And then I'm like, oh yeah, that's what actors do. And she is acting as, as an academic discipline. I don't want it to sound like she's faking it. I'm an actor and yeah, it's, it's pretending, but it's also very real for us when we're in the moment. And that's her. She's really, like, she's making you want to breathe in time with it. And she's making you see things. I don't know about you guys, but when I'm listening to her, I can't help but picture myself in this situation. I can't help but con but, but build a house in my mind and, and see someone in my mind that I'm arguing with. And maybe that's because this is what I do and that I'm acting. But she's creating memories for me. She's creating memories in this moment that I have to live in. And that is one of the highest things that you can do for an audience. And she is extraordinary. Ignoring her incredible voice, the my, the way how, how wide open her mouth is, the way that we can hear her frying off the notes at the end. She's letting that emotion in the mind. I know she didn't go that hard on it, but adding that texture to it when she went for that, the break into her, into her head voice when she's flipping from chest to head and mixed to head, it's, it's, it's really, really good. Whoa, how could you, how could you do, do this to me? She won't take you 
authentic and real a performance as I've ever heard. Ever. She could have done that whole thing as just slam poetry and it would have been no different and that is a testament to her reaching authentic tru truth. She also could have done the whole thing just vocalized with no words and that's also a testament to her vocal truth. But the fact that we got her words and her notes and we got her living and breathing the song in front of us made it something very very powerful um and and being able to shoot it in that documentary style which made us feel like we were capturing a singular moment in time and whatever truth she had to share that night and that performance um how lucky we are that we got to share that because it was nothing short of incredible so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and uh i i i think she's great I think she is incredible. I've never even heard of her before. What a what an amazing voice. What an amazing storyteller. What an amazing person. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, until next time, please drink lots of water. Fix your posture. Pull your shoulders back. Let's take care of ourselves. And please, please be well. Take care of yourself. I'll see you next time.